What's up, divas? What's up, divos? And what's up, y'all? It's your girl, April, and it is time for Real Talk Wednesday here on my channel. So, of course, go ahead and email me your life situation or if you need some advice like I did last Wednesday. I used um, my own Real Talk video for needing advice from you ladies, so we all need advice, okay? But you can email me at muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com and I will post information in the description box for you. As well as that, please make sure to put in the subject line, Real Talk, so that way I know what it's all about. So let's get into this Real Talk, y'all. So I am happy to be back. It is Wednesday or rather when I record this video It'll be Tuesday so that I can get it up on time for Wednesday But let me tell y'all something first of all I didn't even know what day of the week it was until I was sitting there I was sewing a wig and then I said to myself What's today's date? It's Tuesday. Oh I gotta do my real talk video. I totally forgot because you know why? I ain't got no job, okay? And I ain't got no job because I am an African-American woman. So that's why I don't have a job right now. Okay, so if you guys are interested in, re in really understanding why I don't have a job, and yes, y'all, it is because I am black, African-American, in case y'all did not know that, I am of the light skin origin of African-American women, then you can go ahead and check my last video, Real Racism at the Job, which I will post below for you. And yes, y'all, she did call me the N-word, so mmm. Check the description box below and you can go ahead and catch that video. So, uh, also I wanted to say thank you everyone for my last week's video of Real Talk for giving me all the advice that I really needed because this was the first time in my life ever that I was in a situation like this with any employer that I ever had. So it was new to me and I really didn't know which avenues to turn to first. So I want to thank every last diva and diva for reaching out and contacting me either via email or via YouTube. Trust me, I may not have gotten back to everyone's response, but I did take heed and gather all the information in the phone numbers and the addresses and email website, um, excuse me, and URL websites, websites, um, and use them. That way I, I'm able to go ahead and move forward with what I'm going to do about my situation of my last employer. So I thank you all for just being in my corner. And yes, Team Muffins, Team April, and just Team YouTube for everyone. So thank you all for the just lovely words and just heartfelt emotions. And just thank you for the support because at this time I really am like, I'm not stressed and depressed about it anymore. I have gotten over that hurdle you know what I'm saying it was very devastating um but um and I thank you all for helping me get through this because I didn't really know what to turn you know what I mean some things are new to people um to my like to myself who have never experienced racism at any type of level when it comes to the job place I was always told by my husband that you know you're I'm passable because I'm light-skinned um, when he and I will always be out in public you know because he is dark-skinned and I'm light-skinned so he would be like you know you passable they don't even think that you're black which I do get a lot but I am an african-american woman so and I do not feel like it is right to go ahead and disrespect my race especially to myself or to my child so that all will be handled and I thank you all for helping me out with that now as far as um want to know what happened I'll just simply put it I was called the n-word I was called the n-word at work one of my lashes got stuck but you know the video is down below so you guys can check it out so as for the hair that I am rocking mm, this hair is almost a year old okay it is almost a year old, I do believe. Almost a year old. And this is from simplyvirginhair.com. And I love their hair. This is my third unit. <laughs> third unit by them. And I keep their units because their hair is by far fantabulous. It is unspeakable words. Cannot express how I feel about their hair. Like on some realsy, realsies for realsies. Like this hair is like the bomb dot net dot com dot org whatever you want to say at the end that's what it is okay it is some full viral hair all right so yes this is the brazilian body wave and i made this into a regular full wig and i've had it for a while and it is long baby long but i love it like that i do 
Um, and as for the necklace, in case you're wondering, yes, I am kind of blinged out, okay? Ladies, this is a gorgeous necklace piece. And um, I had this for like two weeks now. I bought it while I was on a errand run for my old boss. And you would never believe how much I paid for this. It did come with these big diamond stud, full diamond stud earrings. And yes, y'all, you would never believe how much I paid for this and where I got it from. Wally World, from their statement collection, $10, okay? $9.47, $9.59 something, $9.97, $9.97, $10, $10, okay? So they have some beautiful statement pieces. So I know that you have seen on the website all these beautiful, gorgeous accessories and so forth, which will run you like 30 bucks and above. 10 bucks, y'all, and I am loving it, okay? So yes, I was able to pick that up before I became unemployed so for tonight's real talk video because i have been running my mouth way too much okay hey girl let's see here let me let me make the screen a little bit smaller so, hey girl for starters i just want to say that i have been a subscriber of yours for a while and i just want to tell you you just give me life now that made my day because i don't even give my own self life sometimes the way i look in the morning but thank you diva girl I love how real you are. You have you have style and you are just down to earth. With that being said, and I am a pretty cool person. I am. I am 29 years old, married and, and two young kids and have two young kids, ages nine and four. I have been working dead end jobs after dead end jobs. I really want a career. I'm struggling because, where did I go? Oh, I'm struggling because I really want to go back to school. Now that my youngest just started preschool, the challenges I'm having is babysitting fees are so expensive. My last job, I was literally working every week uh, just to pay for childcare. Not only am I broke, but I can't help my husband out with any bills. FYI, he has a really good job, but paying a lot in child support from two kids he had previously before we met. I have tried to find side hustles and was selling makeup, and yeah, that wasn't easy. Everyone said that they would support me. When my products came, no one would be found. Shaking my head. My kids, my question is to you, how did you do it? With having kids at a young age and finding your way to work and support your family, do you know of any legit work from home opportunities where I can save on babysitting costs? Every day that I'm home, I get more and more depressed. Even though I strive at being a great mom to my kids, I still feel like a failure, if that makes any sense because I want to work and financially support my family as well. How do you stay so positive? Any advice you will have would be greatly appreciated. Sincerely, a struggling mom. So we're gonna call her Sincerely, okay? That's what her name is, because she wrote at the end, Sincerely, a struggling mom. So y'all, she wants to know how did I make it because I had kids at a young age. Yes, y'all, I did. My first kid I have, who is 22 now, I had him when I was, um, I had just turned 18. Two months later, he was born. So I was 17 when I was pregnant. And then, you know, I'm 40 now. So I do have five kids, okay? Now, in the beginning, when I first had my first child, of course, I lived with my mom at home. Um, I came back from Pennsylvania because my mom sent me there to live with my dad. Um, that didn't work because that didn't last. I lived there for about a year. And I met my son's father, who looked just like Tupac, okay? And we hit it off like it was, like we was inseparable. Bonnie and Clyde, and that's exactly how we were, Bonnie and Clyde, okay? Um, and then, you know, it is what it is. I started skipping school and ended up pregnant, okay? So I did go back home, and my mom supported me, and I lived with her. And, of course, I didn't have a job, and I wasn't on welfare, but I worked for my mom. My mom worked for a Jewish community um, that sold bow ties. So my mom was able to take her work home. She made bow ties, bow ties and ties um, for just a Jewish factory. She hadn't been working for them for years. So she was able to take her work home and make them at home. So I would go with her to work and we would have like these big carts and we would take them on the train with us and we would go and pick up her work. And she wouldn't pay me cash, but I would help her sew these bow ties and fix them up so she can get her work done faster and she can get paid more. So in return, she would buy my son clothes and diapers and things like that. I did, of course, get Medicaid. My mom did put me on Medicaid, but I didn't get any type of other public assistance or anything like that. Um, unfortunately, we had a falling out, me and my mom, um, because she was just against who I was dating at the time. It was my son's father, but it was someone in the PJs because, you know, I lived in PJs. I've lived in the projects, okay? 
and Bland Projects in Flushing, Queens. Okay, so that's where I'm from, the Bland Projects in Flushing, Queens. Um, she just didn't approve of him. And I could totally understand why, because he still lived there, and he still sit outside on the benches with the rest of the neighbors, and drinking and smoking. Like, get your life, too. Get your life. And so when I do go there, he try to holler, but I don't hear, okay? I, my hearing went bad. But anyway... Um, so we did have a falling out and of course I was 19 at that time and unfortunately I had to go and get on social services because I was on my own. So with that being said, I got public assistance, cash, food stamps, what have you, and medical for me and my son and I had a roommate, you know. And I did have, I did find a job eventually but really who was going to want someone to work for them that had no childcare because I didn't have childcare neither or no real education because remember I was 17 so which means I dropped out of school I did drop out of school um and the job I had was at Burger King it really didn't pay much um back then minimum wage was like four dollars and 75 cents an hour so you know what I'm saying that was nothing um so I just kept on striving and kept on striving and eventually I met someone that was really good to me so I had thought and we moved upstate um New York and um we moved to Utica and um, it just really didn't work out because he got me away from his family and started being really abusive to me. And I, I went and got my own apartment there in Utica and long story short, his family basically came over, called child protection, jumped me, called child protection and child protection came to my home and let me know what happened, told me I was, they were informed that I had no food in my house. Now mind you, I had got an apartment and I had got this apartment with my own money because I had found a job at, it was a seasonal job, it was at Toys R Us, so, you know, it was probably like $5, $5.50 an hour, and rent was pretty cheap, it was um, a one bedroom for me and my son, I didn't have anything, when I say I didn't have anything, I didn't have anything in that apartment, not a bed, not anything, um, when I came home from work one day, my landlord, who lived a couple blocks away, came to check in, and seen that I didn't have anything, and that me and my oldest son were sleeping on blankets on the floor, I came home from work and there was a bed put up in my room. There was a couple of toys for my son. There were some dishes and things. And I had food. So I was so happy. And, you know, it was my first apartment by myself. And I was just going to make it. I was going to at least try to make it. So with that, um, once Child Protection Service was called and they kind of figured out it was kind of like a hoax, a lie, they asked me that I want to go to a domestic violence shelter because of what I have been through. And I did. I went to the domestic violence shelter in Utica. Um, I had to, of course, leave my job because um, it just wasn't safe for me anymore. And I stayed there for like a month and a half, two months. And I decided to leave um, when my time was up. Not like I was being held, but because of the case that was going on, this, this situation, I decided to go to another shelter in another part of New York, which was Schenectady, New York. I just wanted to be closer to my mother. I really didn't know anything about Schenectady, but I went there. And me and my son were there for like a month and a half. Um, and I got on my feet there. They helped me get on my feet. I was in this new town that I didn't know anything about. I didn't have any means of transportation except for public. I didn't have a job. Um, they did get you on welfare and help you find an apartment and get your apartment furnished. So that is how I survived for like the first year of living in this small town that I didn't have any friends or family. And I finally got a job and I started working again at Birdie King, but um, because I had a lot of support because I came from a domestic violence shelter, I was told a lot of different agencies that could help me. So one of the things that I did was I applied for child care, which is through um, Department of Social Services. And this is, they still have this, but now it's a little bit different. Um, it does go by your income. With me, I didn't have to pay for it because this is my situation. You know, I was new to the area, I had no family, and because I came from a domestic violence shelter. So, um, they watched my son, you know, um, the child care. I found a great family that watched him, and they, they took really good care of him. And I walked probably like three miles to work after I dropped my son off, and I would have to be to work at like 6.30 in the morning to open up early can. And you know something? I really did like the job that I had because it was like my first job, and then I went on to like a retail job at um, Family Dollar. And, um, you know, it still really wasn't paying that much, but... I became more sufficient, I mean, more dependable or just independent rather, more independent on myself. And eventually I became so independent that I didn't need social services. Now, the pay wasn't great, but I was still happy for what I had, you know what I mean? And I still had childcare. And like I said, I dropped out of school. So in 2004, I finally got my GED. 
and this was only because I was then with my husband and he would always push the issue when you gonna get your GED when you gonna get your GED I had a good job I had finally had a good job I was a senior VP for marketing for Fidelis Healthcare um, which is a major insurance company that deals with people that have Medicaid and stuff so I, I landed that job and that wasn't the third job I had that was probably like jobs later but the main thing is that I struggled too um, sincerely I struggled like you wouldn't believe and some things people don't want to say about their own personal life. I will be the first to admit and tell you that, yeah, life is not easy. Right now, I don't have a job. I was fired. I'm wrongfully terminated um, because of my race. And, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, a lot of things that you just can't do in life. Like you said, you can't help with your help your husband with the bills. And that's totally understandable. Some things you just can't do. And if you want to go back to school... Trust me, it is like a major difference when you go back to school and get, get further your education because you, you find a lot of good jobs. So I would do that. If you can't go to school, per se, outside of your home, take online classes. That's what I would do. I would take online classes. If you need help with child care, I would go and look into um, child care, um, Department of Social Services. They have child care. They still have that. It goes by your income, but every little bit helps. Now, as for a working at home job, there is a rise a r i s e dot com and i do have a video um that i posted that has where i was working from i worked for a rise for over two and a half years but i just got tired of working from home and my contract did end i was working for amazon actually i mean i don't work for a rise anymore i can tell you i was working for amazon.com from home and the pay was really good i mean it was decent for staying at home so i will look into a rise.com you can always email me and i will give you some more information but that is a good place to work for because they have different clients and when i say clients i mean companies that resource to them for work at home moms work at home dads you know like at&t apple carnival cruise um there was walgreens because i used to do walgreens on it um now amazon is not on there anymore but they do train you you do have to take certification classes um everything is online but it's really convenient and um i don't know if i'm going to go back to it right now because i really want to just stay from outside of the house um i just want to stay outside of the house i do enjoy going to work every day and getting dressed so but i may just have to go back to it but that is an alternative if you also look on indeed i-n-d-e-e-d.com and type in remote or virtual you will also find a lot of at-home jobs um you just gotta look through that list it's a really long one but i really think that arises a lot easier to go through because you know you're going to get the job. You don't have to keep looking. You just have to take a course, which is like, um, takes you like 10 days to do a test, self-paced test, or you can do it through a class. I did it through self-paced on my own, which you have like 10 days to go through all the modules and answer the questions correctly. And I just felt like self-paced was a lot better for me. But with that being said, yes, um, I'm a single mom and I say I'm single even though I'm married. We're not in the same state. And unfortunately, you know, like I said in like prior videos, I do love him like to death, my husband. But unfortunately, it's just not working out for us. So with that being said, we are going to stay our separate ways. And in the future, the near future, we will be getting divorced. I'm going to send him the papers, whether he knows it or not, whether he wants to or not. It's just it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You can't be in another state and not want to help take care of your kids. You just can't be like that. So, And we just don't see eye to eye anymore. So I think that it's best that we just go our separate ways. Um, I'm here. He wants to be there with his family, his mother and sister. So, okay, then be there. You know what I'm saying? You're a grown-ass man. You don't want to be with your wife and kids. So whatever. Um, but, yeah, I'm a single mother. And it does get hard sometimes. Um, how do I do it? I just budget everything. I, 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 I do like to shop. I do. Um... Um, but when I shop, it is never on a full dime, meaning I don't buy anything full price. That's just me. I don't feel the need to buy anything full price. I don't keep up with the trends, you know, so if something is trending right now, as in shoes, coats, bags, and I, I don't know anything about it because that's just not me, and I never really, really like that anyway. I like what I like, and if it's on clearance and I like it, then I'm in love with it. So I do shop like that, and I budget. Um, I save every little dime that I have. Regardless um, of what it is, um, when I make wigs, I save the money. 
um, because you never know. I'm a very paranoid person because I have so many kids. I'm always paranoid like, oh my God, my kids are going to need something. Oh my God, my, my, I got to have my lights on. Or, oh my God, my, my cable got to be paid or my car insurance. Or oh my God, I got to have two cars. You know what I'm saying? Because what if something happens to the other one that I ain't going to have anything to, work, to drive and then I'm going to get to work. So I'm like a very paranoid person and I will scream that I'm broke all the time. My friends always constantly tell me, girl, you ain't broke. You got money in the bank. Yeah, I'm broke because when you have five kids um, and, a, and almost two grandkids because I'll have a grandkid next month that's going to be here, then you broke all the time, okay? And I feel like I should say I'm broke because if you know you got money, you won't want to go spend it. And April don't do shit like that, so. Well, what I would really do sincerely is I would look up my local agencies for child care. Um, just go to the daycare unit. It's called child care. It's either called child care or daycare unit. And that's through the Department of Social Services um, <clears throat> in your state. And they can help you pay for daycare. And like I said, I know about it because I had to get daycare for my kids. And they helped me pay for it. Um, also, <clears throat> check with Arise.com and see how you like that. And you hear my grandson on the other side of my door. Ooh, he's so loud. Um, you can check Arise.com because they also have job opportunities which are for at home. Which makes a lot more sense. But make sure that you have like a quiet environment for an at home job. Or you just go somewhere in a different room. That's what I used to have to do. And that's what I still do. So he is calling me mama. So let's go get him real quick. So here is my grandson. Say hi. Say hi. You stink. You pooted on me. Say hi. I said, did you want to get in the video? He was like, yeah. So say hi. Make all that noise you was making out there. Say hi. Say, say Gigi. Say Gigi. You don't want to say hi? You want to go? Look, look. Look. You stink. Did you just, you just put it on me, you little nasty butt. Look. Say hi. Look, say hi. Say hi. They heard you out there. Say hi. You don't want to say anything? You want a car? Car. Where's Coco? No. No? All right, say bye. Oh, you're going to wave and go? All right, bye. So, yeah, I would basically look into the Department of Social Services. That's Mumsy's notebook for school. I would look into that for child care, and I would also look into Arise.com. Also look on Indeed.com. Close the door, boo. Close the door. I will look into that for virtual jobs. But, you know, I would definitely go back to school. You can always go back to school online. And trust me, that is something that really is positive. Me, myself, I want to go back to school as well because I know that if I go back to school, it just will better my chances of employment. Um, I do have a lot of experience. Like I said, I was senior VP for marketing for almost nine years. And I love what I do. I love being an administrator for an office. So... That's one of the main things. I, I love the environment that I work in. So, But you know what? If I was to go back to school, I can get somewhere even further and just further my employment, which is further my salary. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys all. Um, as far as my employment, yes, like I said, I have not been working since the 20th of November. However, I have been on a few interviews. I have put in my resume to like, oh my God, probably like 70, 80 places. What? To like 70, 80 different places. So, yes, I have gotten quite a few calls back. So, wish me luck. And I will speak to you guys soon. And on that note, stay diva and delicious. And all the information for Real Talk will be posted below. If you want to send me your situation, your advice, or need advice, you can always email me at muffinismylovers2012 and put in the subject line Real Talk. So, on that note, see you soon. Bye. You want to say it? You can't just look into the camera. Say something. You're like frozen up like a like a freeze pop. All right, bye. bye.